Hello friends, welcome to Insights Icon Initiative and first of all I am very thankful for you for giving your valuable feedback about yesterday's video and the new initiative. So in today as well, we will continue with the same initiative from today onwards. By the way, today's topic is the Supreme Court judgment on the same sex marriage legalization. Before we discuss further, first we will see the theme of the day. After that, we will go through this particular topic in detail. So today's theme of the day is fundamental rights. As we are discussing about the, you know, like uh, LGBTQ community marriage rights. So marriage is also one of the fundamental rights. So when you are looking at the fundamental rights topic, always you have to look for the respective articles and their provisions and how these fundamental rights interpreted by Supreme Court in various judgments. That means landmark judgments and fundamental rights applicability. You have to check and fundamental rights exceptions. Okay, in which conditions mandamus is not applicable, and in which condition you know like uh, covarento is not applicable, whether the public interest litigation is applicable or not. That kind of things you have to look at. Now let's see some sample prelims as well as the main question on this theme of the day. Prelims question: Which article of the Constitution of India? safeguards one's right to marry the person of one choice this is about the article 21 so it is particularly related to today's video okay next main question do you think marriage as a sacrament is losing its value in modern india so this question is trying to test the value of marriage is getting decreased and what is your comment it is related to gender studies paper one and term marcus question so this is the theme of the day and the prelims related question to that as well as the mains related question to the theme of the day. Now we will come back to this video. In this video we are going to discuss about Supreme Court judgment on legalization of LGBTQ community marriage rights. So what Supreme Court observed? Supreme Court clearly given a judgment that they are not going to legally recognize these category you know like people's marriage rights. Why? Because Supreme Court was saying that that is in the area of the parliament. Parliament has to make a law because the Special Marriage Act is not recognizing this community marriage rights. We cannot cancel the Special Marriage Right Act. Apart from that, Supreme Court observed so many other observations as well. So totally Supreme Court made four different judgments. We are going to discuss about all those four judgments very soon. Meanwhile, this entire video is about the same sex marriage. Here, same sex, it can be, uh, it can be understood in a more clear way by using the term LGBTQ community. L stands for lesbian, G, gay, B, bisexual, transgender, queer, and intersex. In today's judgment, the word queen often used much. The word queer stands for they can be either lesbian or you know like gay or bisexual. Queer is the broad word where one is not sure about his gender identity so in that category of the people so we can use the word queer because today's judgment clearly saying that queer couple cannot adopt children if they would like to adopt children they can adapt along with the unmarried couple okay that kind of joint adoption can be possible but they themselves cannot you know like adapt to the children that is also one of the key takeaway from today's judgment now let's see regarding this today's judgment our honorable cj was saying that there's the pick credit is indian express he was saying that supreme court cannot strike down the provision of special marriage act or read words differently okay he was clearly saying that special marriage act is secular in nature it is mainly deals with the people who are going for the marriage in the area of interfaith and if they don't want to get married according to the traditional ways for them special marriage act is applicable just because special marriage act is not recognizing the lgbtq community rights we cannot run down the law and we cannot struck down that was the observation made by the cji and regarding the rights of the lgbtq community we can say that the year 2018 is a landmark year why because in the 2018 supreme court struck down the section 377 of ipc what is this section was all about previously this section was criminalizing the sexual relation between the same sex after decriminalizing then the same sex people started living together the next step they wanted is so they wanted the legal status to their marriage but now supreme court rejected to accept that because that is the ambit of the indian parliament now regarding the 
syllabus map i mean the syllabus mapping this particular topic is related to gender studies paper 1 and the topic is society salient features of indian society and diversity of india it is also related to indian polity as well in this video we are going to discuss about section 377 ipc just now i told you then what is the meaning of same sex marriage what is the special marriage act 1954 arguments in favor of same sex marriage and arguments against same sex marriage we will discuss and which countries legalized same sex marriage we will discuss that at the end of this video and previous supreme court judgment on this particular area what are the previous supreme court judgment and what is the way forward so these are the areas you can expect further in this video first let us see the why it is in news it is in news because the five judge bench always remember five judge bench generally it is a constitutional bench whenever interpretation of constitution is required five judge bench will be appointed by the cji this particular five judge bench consists of honorable cji d v chandrachud and honorable justices sanjay kishan kaul ravindra bhat hima kohli and p s narsimha this is the composition of the bench this bench was clearly saying that supreme court is against legalizing the same marriage in india as and today now we will see further okay what are the remarks of cji and uh, like i mentioned earlier in this video the four separate judgment delivered in this particular judgment what are those four judgments or four observations first we'll see the cji remarks cji was saying that number 1 this is not under the capacity of cji i mean supreme court the law has to be made by the parliament that is the first thing even though supreme court is not competent enough and still if supreme court is involving means that is interpreted as judicial overreach so they don't want to go for that judicial overreach and they don't want to struck down the special marriage act okay it is secular in nature it is still relevant in the modern age queer people they have the right to enter into union that that means they can stay together queer people that means people who are not sure about their sexual identity and the state governments as well as the union government they have to protect the homosexual couples same like heterosexual couples queer and here you have to understand in the mcq point of view queer and unmarried couple they can jointly adopt children and central government already appointed one committee regarding the examination of the rights related to homosexuals and that committee central government can go on with that committee and that committee can study some issues related related to the same sex marriage such as you know like applying for ration cards pension gratuity and succession rights and all these things so supreme court was saying that central government can go ahead with that committee and let's see what that committee will find these are the four different observations made by the supreme court in today's judgment let's see number 1 supreme court is not recognizing same sex marriage legally that means no fundamental rights for the same sex marriage second there is no fundamental rights regarding the civil union you may get confused what is the difference between the civil union and marriage civil union is a type of marriage which is accepted in the state level but not in the country level if the same kind of union the same kind of marriage is accepted at the entire country level that is known as mar marriage you know for example before america recognized same sex couple or same sex marriage it recognized same sex unions okay that means same sex union also will give a legal protection so now supreme court is against the civil union among the same sex okay so civil unions also not allowed then center can continue with the high powered committee and they can investigate and uh, queer couple they cannot adopt they cannot adopt they can adopt only along with the same sex couple these are the four observations made by the supreme court i hope you are pretty much clear regarding these four observations now we will see there are you know like the civil union already explained the civil union and supreme court american supreme court in the case of abajafel versus hodges they accepted the that is popularly known as you know like uh, this this case supreme court of the united states popularly known as this it recognized the legal right of the same sex marriage and the homosex homosexuality is obviously attraction between the people of same gender it can be the women women 
or any men men or women women that will be gay bisexual attracting to towards men as well as women transsexual the changes to opposite sex of the natural sex that means if the if they are born with male changing into female queer they are not sure about their sexual identity these are the keywords section 377 already mentioned previously same sex okay same sex cohabitation and having the sexual relation it used to be crime but it was struck down by supreme court in 2018 next what is the same sex marriage the practice of marriage between the men and men as well as women and women or any category like i mentioned earlier so same sex marriage it can be regulated either through law either through religion or either through custom okay the, in india they are asking for the law for that supreme court rejected the first country which recognized the same sex marriage was mexico next special marriage act in india a special marriage act clearly mentioned that if interfaith couple like if the two couples belong to two different religion as well as if they want to go for marriage without any traditions then they can go with the special marriage act 1954 here one condition is there that is they have to give 30 days of notice before the date of marriage here the section 4 of the special marriage act clearly mentioning that clearly mentioning that the marriage should be the marriage should be only between the male and female here the lgbtq community you know like activist they are arguing that this provision is against the lgbtq community rights and the law must be struck down but supreme court did not agree with that argument next in favor of the special marriage i mean this same sex marriage it is 1954 is indirectly providing the same sex marriage it is a fundamental right to these people right to inequality along with the heterosexuals and in global many countries are accepting so why not india this is in favor next agonist people who are agonist it it is against the biological reaction and if court is interfering means it is a judicial overreach and it fundamental rights are not absolute limited in nature so you cannot claim fundamental rights in absolute manner unnecessarily importance we are giving and when the same sex marriage are happening sometimes civil rights are not being protected related to either of the partner these are some of the issues against same sex marriage next views of the supreme court on same sex marriage in the shafin jahan versus ashokan came 2018 in the supreme court clearly mentioned that marriage is a fundamental right it comes under article 21 and it also conformity with the universal declaration of human rights in the universal declaration of human rights article 16 clearly mentioning that persons marriage is completely persons fundamental rights and along with that supreme court also used the puttaswamy case in this particular judgment that marriage is a once individual's privacy so once marriage choice cannot be question okay as long as it is between the heterosexuals navjit singh johar versus union of india in this supreme court men observe that lgbtq community they entitled to have constitutional rights that means they should not be discriminated just because they are lgbtq community and just because you know like their sexual preferences are different and the, then what is the central government view the central government view is central government is opposing the same sex marriage because it is saying that it is against indian social norms and it may also affect the indian family system that is a union government argument next ethical aspect of the same sex marriage very important in your gs paper 4 point of view in terms of ethical point of view first thing is supporting argument is same sex marriage will promote the equality number one then same sex marriage between the to adults who are with consent when they are entering into the marriage then obviously that has to be respected then harm this is the argument against the same sex marriage the people are who are opposing the same sex marriage they are saying that children who are born to same sex marriage or you know like who are adopted by the same sex marriage of course uh, you know like uh, they are those children are not raising up properly compared to the normal heterosexual couple but there is no scientific proof for that that is one point next few people are saying that it is against tradition but the point is traditions are like water in a river 
as the river keep on changing in uh, as the water keep on changing in river traditions also have to change according to the changing time just because tradition is there we cannot stick to the tradition in the changing times okay and some people are saying that the same sex marriage may conflict with the religious beliefs these are the ethical dimension regarding the same sex marriage okay what is the way forward the way forward is in national legal services authority of india versus union of i mean national legal service authority versus union of india in the supreme court categorically mentioned that the lgbt community also should enjoy article 14 15 16 19 21 and they should not be restricted and they cannot be restricted to, to this community so this community also will enjoy such rights okay and government should ensure these rights should applicable to lgbt community in their best possible way yesterday's video question consider the following statement regarding the icc the answer is b all countries except the us china russia india are parties to the rome statute not so many countries are not signed the icc is not part of the united nations system s yes, obviously okay next we will see today's question consider the following statement read these two statements and pick the correct statement out of these two main question even after the decision of supreme court the lgbt community is a victim is a victim of negligence of society do you agree that recognition of the same sex marriage will help to improve the situation given argument in favor of your answer how can you say that that will improve their situation now as we reach to the end of this video now let us summarize quickly in this video we discussed about supreme court observation on the same sex marriage the four observations cja observations and same sex marriage the definitions of lgbtq and special marriage act and apart from that previous supreme court judgments then we also discussed about the practice in different other countries ethical issues argument in favor and argument against the same sex marriage this is the detailed analysis on the same sex marriage